Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about extensions. Now, extensions are add ons or plugins you can add to your 90 Second Website Builder application to give it more functionality and more features. When you install an extension, that tool will appear at the bottom of the toolbox in your program down here where it says 90 Second Website Builder Extensions. You can see there are only a couple or three here in my particular installation. Yours may look different because you may have installed some ins extensions already or you may have fewer, but uh, this is where they'll automatically appear when you install them. So let's talk about where you can get these extensions. Well, when you log into the 90 Second Website Builder members area, there's a link to the extensions page, which should look something like this. And this ch this page does change a little bit uh, because we're constantly adding to this list or updating this list. But either way, when you get to the extensions and plugins area, there, there'll be a list of things you can add to your 90 Second Website Builder application. And somebody asked me, why don't we just automatically install all of these extensions built into the software when you first install? And the reason is because you won't need all of these extensions. Some of them are advanced, some of them are simple, some of them you may, you, you'll probably never use. And it would just make the installation of the program huge if we installed every possible extension. Plus, we're always adding new extensions and come from a lot of different sources. So we'd rather have you pick and choose those extensions and plugins that you really Really want to use. They're very easy to install and use. And they all do different things. Some of them have to do with navigation, like menus. Some of them have to do with slideshows and images. A lot of them have to do with displaying photographs and images. Uh, there are some video tools, uh, button making tools. There are a lot of different things you can do with extensions depending on uh, which ones you use. And they're easy to experiment with too. So let's talk about how you install an extension. I'm going to use in this demonstration the glass button extension. You'll see there's two different versions at this point in time. Uh, the glass button version here is the one that's for users who are using older versions of 90 second, version 5 or 6. But if you're using version 7 or higher, you're going to want to use the glass button uh, here that shows here. This is very simple to do. We're going to download this extension onto our computer. So in my case, when I click down, download, it asks me uh, to save the file, which I'll do. And in my case, when I download um, onto my computer, I have it to where it saves on my desktop. Your downloads might be saved elsewhere. They might be they might be downloaded to a downloads folder or in your My Documents or wherever. But just know that you're simply downloading a zip folder to your computer. So let's go look at that zip folder. I'm going to close this. Okay, in my case, when I download a zip folder onto my desktop, that will appear like this as you can see and then in my case because I use a program called just zip it you might use WinZip or whatever archiving tool you have might be a little bit different you simply unzip this folder so that you can get into it in my case when I double click and I unzip a folder it looks like this so that I can open it up and view the contents so that's what I'm doing now inside most of these extension folders will be a similar list of things some of them will have an image it's just a sample image not all of them will some of them will have a different version of the extension file. The one you're going to want to look for is always the WBX file. This is the file, the extension file you're looking for. There's often a PDF in there, which is simply instructions on how to do what I'm telling you right now. So, uh, they're just written instructions, but almost every extension has written instructions with it, so you can't get lost. But this is the file right here we're going to be working with. So I'm going to leave that window open and show you how we install an extension in 90 Second Website Builder. First, let me go back to the 90 Second Website Builder tools so you can see that the glass button extension does not appear here because I haven't installed it yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close out, and this is important, I'm closed out of 90 Second Website Builder. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go into my Documents folder. Inside Documents, I'll find a folder called 90 Second Website Builder. Inside 90 Second Website Builder is a folder called System. And inside my System folder is a folder called Extensions. It's this simple, actually. As you can see, my extension that I've opened on my desktop right here, I'm going to simply drag into this folder. So all of the extension folders, the WBX files, I should say, go into this path. Wherever your system folder is, there will be an extensions folder. And as you can see, I've got these extensions installed. And now the glass button extension. 
Okay, that's really all there is to it. And in fact, let me close this. And when I relaunch 90 Second Website Builder, this time when we look at the toolbox over here, we'll go down, you'll see now that I've got a new tool called Glass Button. And I've simply added it to my application. If I don't like it or I don't want to use it or just have no need for it, I can leave it alone and not use it, or I can uninstall it simply by deleting it from that same location. So that's, it's, that's as simple as it gets. Download the zip folder of the extension you want, unzip it, grab the WBX file, put it in the right location, as long as that extension lives in the proper location, 90 Second Website Builder will be able to find it, and it will list it right here in your toolbox so you can grab it just like any other tool and start using that great function.